Hi, it's Tina and Tim again, and we're going to talk a little bit more about what you can expect in the courtroom. And today we're going to talk about, Tina, if you could tell people what can be achieved at an initial appearance, though, when we're dealing with um, a petition fit for violation in a custody matter. Uh, it's very similar to our initial appearances for original custody and a modification. And if you haven't watched those videos, again, if everybody shows up with, an, with a lawyer and there's a lawyer there representing your child or children, the court might be able to do a little bit more and move on and get to the heart of the issue. Whether that violation was an ongoing violation, an example would be, you know what, your dad and you have court ordered access of every other weekend and every Wednesday overnight and the other side decided, well, you know what, you're not gonna get your court ordered time and you know what, they've been going to the school early and picking up your child to preventing you from being able to access your child per the court order. So the court at that initial appearance may or may not make a direction to that parent and tell that parent they have an obligation, it's a court order and they need to follow it, okay? But that's again, a contingent that either you don't want an attorney or you have an attorney present. So that will determine how that appearance actually occurs. But general rule, rule is the courts don't like people or litigants or parents violating court orders. They want people to follow court orders until those court orders are changed. So keep that in mind and remember, it's a much narrower issue if you're bringing somebody there to try to enforce a family court order or to have them being held in contempt because they continue to violate those terms and conditions of the court order. So remember, super limited issue and the courts may be quicker and able to address it quickly versus you know, prolonged waiting for everything to happen. So again, keep that in mind. Again, if you're represented by counsel, they can't go into the full story. This one is an extremely limited issue. So there's other factors. So I, we always suggest consult with an attorney on any type of your legal matter. Right, Tim? Correct. So any closing right. things about that in terms of violations of court orders? Not that I can think of right now. Okay, so you're gonna have to check back to another video. Bye. Exactly, bye.